Having been a 3D generalist for 20 years and having taught college level animation for four years, I've been able to say I'm pretty friggin' old. Well that, and I've been able to boil down some advice to newbies and anyone else who wants to listen. This is not a be-all end-all list, because I'm not Yoda, but through trial and error, it's what I've found helpful to lots of people, and I'm hoping it'll help you too. The first, and maybe most important piece of advice I can give you myself and anyone else is to focus. There's an old saying that energy flows where attention goes, or something like that. Starting out in 3D, or anything really, you'll see so many different things that you think are really cool. While it's exciting, and it certainly gets you motivated, it can also hold you back. If you spread your attention too far and try to learn too many things at once, you risk learning absolutely nothing. It's best to just sit down and brainstorm your interests. What in 3D do you find really interesting and fascinating? What uses of 3D interest you? Is it film, games, advertising, printing, abstract motion graphics? Then what sort of thing seems cool to you? Modeling, animating, texturing, shading, lighting, compositing, sculpting, the list goes on and on. Focusing in at the beginning will help you not only work toward the things you want to be doing, and you'll get better at them faster than spreading yourself too thin too soon. As a generalist, we do everything, but learning it all at once was too confusing. I started with modeling and everything else built out from there. It seems to be the easiest way in for many. One practical piece of advice here is to set aside some time every day with no distraction. Leave the social media off, lock yourself in a room if you can, and just run through a tutorial that interests you until you get it. Or choose an object and build it until it looks right. If you need to do something 20 times to make it look right, do that. You'll learn so much about your software and your own workflow, and you'll get much faster for it. The next thing we'll tackle is core skills. So in that, we have art skills. And there are definitely skills that you should learn first in 3D. The biggest skill to learn is to be able to see what's in front of you, not what your mind thinks is in front of you. That's a core artist skill, and it'll really help you here. Drawing, painting, sculpting, photography, these things all help. It's good to flex the right side of your brain off of the computer for a while. Trust me, it'll help you when you jump back on the computer later. Is it necessary? Not always. You'll always hear of amazing artists who can't draw or paint or sculpt or shoot. It's statistics. There will always be 3D savants. Don't buy into the hype though. Learning a traditional skill can't hurt more than it helps. Set some time aside and you'll most likely see improvements in the computer. The next is math and coding skills. As artists, many of us are afraid of math. It was hard in school, I get it. I sucked at it early on too. Later on, I realized how helpful it is to me as a generalist. It's especially useful in programs like Houdini where you can do some amazing things with trigonometry. It's also useful if you want to be able to deep dive into 3D graphics or go into rigging, shading, and lighting or development. Math helps with coding and vice versa. Of course, you'll hear stories of those who don't use any of that. But if you want to make yourself valuable, learn as much as you can. You don't need to be Einstein, but knowledge about it and what it does can help you tremendously. The next is software skills. I saved this for last because software comes and goes. I know there are hardcore fans out there who love to argue about which software is best for what, but really, at their core, and what for most of you will use them for anyway, they're all very similar. 3D is data. Applications handle that data in very similar ways to a greater or lesser degree. Maya, Blender, Max, Cinema 4D, Lightwave, they're all very similar. If you learn one, you can transfer those skills to another with some effort. Houdini is a bit different, but you could use it like the others if you want to. As far as what to learn, keep it simple. Focus on a few core skills in each area, and grow your tools and skill set over time. Master the basics of modeling with as few tools as you can to keep it less confusing, then branch out from there. Do the same with everything else, and you'll find that you're making some good progress. Once you understand the basics and what things do and why they do them, you'll be able to tack on new things much easier over time. It's not a race. Take your time. Next is your ego. As artists, we all tie part of our ego into our work and how that work is perceived in the world. We love it when people like our stuff and we feel like crap when they don't. It's natural. The trick, though, is to make a solid effort to distance yourself from that. You'll be happier. Realize that your art, while part of you, is not who you are. It evolves as you get better. Learn to take criticism at arm's length. There's great constructive criticism and there's douchebaggery. Leave the douchebags to their own little worlds and embrace the nice constructive stuff. There are trolls out there for sure, but they're useless. There's also so many amazing people who love to help others. Find those people and grow. One last thing on this topic. Many 3D artists learn in a vacuum. That tends to give us the big fish in a small pond mentality. Once you move out of your bedroom or office and compare your work to the wider world, it's usually a wake-up call. I've interviewed people with outsized egos. Don't be that person. Humility can go a long way and maybe make you more friends too. Measure your progress. 
This goes with the ego thing we just discussed, but it's good to always honestly measure your progress. You can do that by comparing your stuff to others, or better yet, find a community online and share your work. I know that terrifies many, but it's essential for growth. Most people are nice and will give you advice. Don't let it kill your ego. Let it drive you. No 3D artist started out awesome from the very start, from their very first render, and if they say so, they're usually lying. One great tip is to measure your work against previous work. You'll see improvement, and that'll drive you even further. Lastly, I want to talk about learning to sell. Your ability to make money as an artist, if that's your end goal, is directly proportional to your ability to network and sell yourself. This is understandably difficult for introverts, but it's something that's necessary. As a freelance artist, it's critical to be able to sell your skill set and your ability to get the job done. There's no way around it. I've linked to some good resources on this in the description, as the topic is way too long to cover here. I have a free ebook that you can also grab in the link in the description with way more information about this stuff than I cover here in this video. Feel free to grab it if you want. Now I'll get back to my regular Blender tutorial videos. See ya, and I hope this helps at least a few of you. Thanks. Stay healthy.